You have reached a national telemarketing company. The number you dialed is... 8 Again, the number you have reached is... 8 If you believe you've dialed the... Per- okay, I'll transfer you now. Please stay on the line to continue. Thank you for calling. To ensure proper handling, this call may be recorded. Please stay on the line to continue. This is Jeanette, and how may I help you? Hello? Hello? Are you sure this, are you calling the right area code? Like, this is a 57, I don't, I didn't even know. This is a payphone. I don't know what the number here is. Um, who are you trying to contact? I didn't call there, sir. I'm sorry? This is a library. And who are you trying to contact? Okay, I'm on a 573 number right now. Oh, hello? Yes, who are you, you trying to call? I'm sorry, that was my sister, Susanna. Uh, I was calling in regarding a uh, Tupperware product. Um, I'm sorry, what business? Well, some funny business was going on, but uh, a Tupperware product, uh, it drains pasta. Uh, you have the wrong number. No, no. It keeps it from freezing. I saw it on TV. They told me to call, and I'm just giving you a call. Are you recording? Pardon me? Are you recording? I am not recording, no. Okay, you have the wrong number. No, I was calling regarding the Tupperware product. Yes, you have the wrong phone number. (laughs) You guys don't have any type of thing relating to pasta at all? Uh, Ma'am, just hang up and try the number again. You might have misdialed because you have the wrong number. Have a great night. Well, what is this then? Hello? (laughs) Ma'am, I don't know what you're looking for, but I know you have the wrong number somehow. You have reached a national telemarketing company. The number you dialed is... Eight. Zero. Again, the number you have reached is... Eight. If you believe you've dialed the correct... Okay, I'll transfer you now. Please stay on the line to continue. Thank you for calling. To ensure proper handling, this call may be recorded. Please stay on the line to continue. This is Stephanie. How may I help you? Um, hi, I was just calling regarding the um, Tupperware product. Okay, and what is the name of the Tupperware product that you're referring to? Um, well, 43 Crud Busters. As you said, 43, what was it now? Uh, Crud Busters from Irem. From who? Uh, from Irem Company. It's called the Pasta Popper, is the alternate name for it. The Pasta pasta, um, Popper, give me one moment. Okay. One moment. Uh, there's supposed to be a free button on the bowl with each order. So I want to make sure that I get that before I order it. Uh, no problem. Um, Hal Holbrook was on the commercial. And you said um, the it was a pasta bowl and it was made by Crud Busters? The Pasta Popper by 43 Crud Busters with Hal Holbrook. Now, is the button included with each order? Because I don't... Or is that like a hoax? Now, give me one moment. Let me um, check into it. Okay, because on those commercials, you know, they have like all that fine print, and I I just didn't want to, you know, miss out on anything. Right. The audience gave it an ovation. So I... A, a sitting ovation, you know. 
which is pretty good. So I, I mean, I think that it seemed to give it some pretty good credibility with the testimonials on there. And they took a nap after, though, so. One moment. On a giant cot. And you say crud, you, are, is that C-R-U-D? Yeah, crud buster. I guess okay. because um, when you cook enough pasta, like you get a lot of accumulation on it, so it busts the crud off of there. Right. It's a self-cleaning. And, um, do the, um, the manufacturer of it, does it say what the manufacturer of it is? Uh, is Ronco? R-O-N... K-O? A C-O, ma'am. But K-O is good, too, because it really gives you a knockout, like a knockout punch with the reliability of the product. They said the warranty was was just beyond good, so I I had to check it out. Okay, and that was R-O-N-C-O? Uh-huh. Okay. With the K-O sometimes, because it's a real knockout product, I heard. Give me one moment. Okay. It's like an oven. It it cleanses your semicolon. It's good, good stuff. Okay. Give me one moment. Okay. You will love the first bite. Outrageously right. Kudos, granola snacks. Hello? Hello? Was was I on hold or? No, no, I'm here. Oh. Uh, you did, you transferred me? Or I... No, no, no. I'm still, I'm still oh, the okay. same. I heard some weird commercial or? Yeah, I heard that too. And I don't know why I didn't. I did not push you on hold. Hmm. <laughs> Strange. Okay. That's something about pleasing and teasing. I, I don't know. Pleasing, teasing. Good old, I'm yours. I'm yours. Nutty fudge, chocolate chip. And ma'am, can you turn that down, please? Hello? Okay, yeah, I'm here. Oh, yeah, could you please turn um, that the- kudos down? Oh, I'm I'm sorry. I'm not doing that. Um, give oh. me one moment. To t- I'm not. Um, can I place you on hold for a moment? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Peanut butter, kudos, you won me over. See, you did put me on hold with the kudos. Ma'am, your whole music's broken. <laughs> On the next episode of Doogie Hauser, Doogie gets his driver's license. to watch Judy Hauser with you. Kudos on yours. You're the electrifying, renolifying, simply nutritious, outrageously delicious. Kudos on yours. On yours. I know 
you can hear me. I really love Doogie Howser, but I'm tired of hearing it over and over again. Down pedos climbing in the wind. Okay, ma'am, I understand you don't want to talk to me. Just one of my crud buster. I mean, I can listen to Doogie Hatwizer all night. Okay, um, we um, do not have that product. You can call the 1-800-ASSIST number. That will, that will be 1-800-555-1212. And thank you so much for calling. You have a good night. Well, that was... The end.